Hey, how's it going guys? Cezo here. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys some tips and tricks to enhance your experience in Steam. So the first thing is organizing your Steam library. If you haven't played a lot of games, then it might be a bit difficult to navigate through all of your games in your library and find the game that you want to play. So a simple solution is to uh, organize your Steam library. As you can see on the left, I have uncategorized Counter-Strike and Favorites. So if you want to create a library, then this is how you do it. Once you're in the library, click on these four squares. This will redirect you to this page where you can see your collections. So as I said, I have my Favorites collection, which you can see right here and my Counter-Strike collection, which you can see right here. So to make a new collection, you can simply click on this Create a New Collection button, enter a name for this collection. So for example, I have a decent amount of Call of Duty games, so, and then I'll create a collection. Now all I have to do is drag games from the left into this collection. I'll just type in the name of all the Call of Duty games I have. So these are all the Call of Duty things I will have in my library. Now I'll just simply drag them into this collection folder I have here. So these are all my Call of Duty games and um, and I have successfully made a new collection with all the Call of Duty games. So this will be way easier to navigate through. And yeah, you can do this for wherever you want. So you can make a new collection, name it, for example, RPG games, or you can name it, want to play soon. And you should add all the games I will want to play in the near future and so on and so forth. So my next tip is um, how to download and or delete multiple games at once from your library. So instead of having to download each game one by one or delete each game one by one, all you can do is click on a game, then hold control and then click on other games. So as you can see, I'm selecting multiple different games at once and these are all not installed. So all I have to do now is right click on one of the games that I have selected, install selected, and um, this shows all the games that I've selected and um, Disk space required, I can choose where I want to install it and I can install all the games. Same thing can be done with deleting it. So I can press on a game that I want to delete, but I hold control and press on other games that I would like to delete as well. So I have four games selected right now, right click and um, manage uninstall selected. I won't be uninstalling these because I will probably replay these sometime soon, but at least you know how to do this. Now speaking of downloading and deleting games, you probably want to make a custom folder for where your um, games will get downloaded to. All you have to do is go on Steam, go on Settings, Downloads, then you click on Steam Library Folders. And then for me, you can see I have two folders right here, my default folder from Steam and the custom folder I created. So this is the folder where all my games will always be installed into. If you want to make a custom folder, you simply click on Add Library Folder. Now you either select a folder you already have or you make a new folder. I won't be making a new one because I already have one. But after you did that, right click on the folder you made and make default folder. And this will make sure that all of your games that you'll download in the future will go into that folder as well. Now while you're on this screen, you can also change your download region. So whichever is the closest to you should be already set automatically. But if you're not having the best download speeds on the current server you're on, then you could just simply change it to one that's a bit further away or closer. You can also limit your bandwidth on this page. So in case you have a bad internet connection and you have other people in the household that want to use the internet, then you just limit it to whatever suits your needs. If you have a good internet connection, then this is probably nothing you have to look at. Then you can also set a time when your games will get updated, like between, for example, 1 p.m. and um, 2 p.m. But as I said, if you have a good internet connection, this won't really be necessary. So while we are still in the library, I will also show you how to do one more thing, which is how to add non-Steam games or non-Steam programs to, to your Steam library. So all you have to do is go on the bottom left here, click on add a game, add a non-Steam game. And this will show you all the programs, all the games that you have. So for example, the version of GTA that I have is not a Steam version, it's a default like a social club uh, version so I can add this one so I just click on the uh, left box here this will select GTA 5 you can also select multiple at once add selected programs and this should get added into my Steam library as you can see right here and then I just can click play and uh, yeah just note that games are non Steam games that you have added to your library won't get updated automatically since they're not connected to the Steam cloud this is good though if you want to keep all your games and programs in one place and also if you want to have the Steam overlay enabled while you're playing these games. 
So my next tip would be family view. So not only does family view add an extra layer of security, but also helps people like parents, for example, if they are sharing their games with like the kids and if the kids are too young to play some games that are 18 plus. So for example, if you are a parent, you can just enable family view by clicking on manage family view. And then you can see all the options here. So what you would probably want to do in your situation is go on only games that I choose. So you can choose what games are accessible to the people in the family view without a password. And to unlock the rest of the games that aren't in the family view, you just simply have to type in a password to get into the normal Steam library. So obviously I don't need to do this, but if you want to do this then click on next, this will show your recovery email address, next. And then you can enter your pin. So you just type in whatever pin you want for the JIP pin. So after you enter your pin, they will request you to go to your email address and input the code that I sent you. So once you click on next, you can see here, this little icon will appear. If it's on red, that means you know I'm family view. If you want to go back to family view, click on the icon, click OK, and now you're back into family view. And now to exit this family view, so let's say you have like games like Call of Duty or something that are outside of family view, and you want to play them now because your kids are asleep or whatever, just type in your pin. You'll get a little sound and your family view will get lifted and you'll be able to play whatever you want. I'm gonna disable my family view because I don't really need it, but even if you want an extra layer of security, you can enable it and um, there will be an extra pin you'll have to input. So another thing that's very nice to have is an FPS counter. So whenever you play in a game, you most likely will want to check what your FPS is looking like every once in a while. So, so if you don't know how to do this, then it's very simple. You go on Steam again on top left, settings, in-game, and an in-game FPS counter. And you can just set it wherever you want. So I have mine on top left. I have high contrast color, which means the, uh, the numbers themselves will be green instead of gray. Here you can also enable or disable the Steam overlay, change the shortcut to it. So you can also change the shortcut for the screenshot button and uh, multiple different settings as well. So the last thing I'll want to show you how to do is um, change your opening page. So for example, my opening page is my library. So whenever I launch Steam, it will show up on my library. Default is probably your store. So if you want to change that, you go back into Steam again on the top left, settings, interface, and then you can see here, select which Steam window appears when the program starts. Mine's on library, as I said, but you can change it to whatever. So you can change it to your store like it is on the default version, I think. You can change it to your friends section, the news section, whatever you want. I'll just keep mine on library because that's the most convenient for me. Anyways guys, that would be it with the tips and tricks from my side. Um, I hope I could make your Steam experience a bit more enjoyable, a bit more organized. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a rating, comment down below what you would like to see in the next tutorial video. And um, also don't forget to subscribe because that's what really keeps me going. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and bye.